Hello again, this is UML Operator. In this session, we're going to be talking about the Navigator Toolbar. If you don't see the Navigator Toolbar, there's a couple of ways to bring it up. Number one is from the Start tab, go to Design, go to Navigate, turns it on. Second way is to hit this down arrow caret, if you will, in uh, Preferences, go to Toolbars, scroll down, Navigate, turn it on, turn it off. All right, we want it on. So I'm going to hit close, right? So the Navigator toolbar is up and ready for us to use. I will include a link to Spark's page for the Navigator toolbar below in the description. And they give you all the information we're getting ready to cover here right now. When you first start, your projects aren't going to be that large. But some of my projects are extremely large, have dozens, if not more packages, diagrams, sub packages, and I need to be able to navigate them quickly. Now I'll talk about the browser in a later session, but you can see in this particular browser, I have two root packages. Our focus is on this particular root package, regardless of the name. And you can see up here in the navigator bar, I'm able to get to either one of the root packages. Again, I'm going to focus on this one. So when I hit the down arrow, I see all the packages that are underneath it. What I want to do is I want to pick a particular place that I want to go. You can see as the navigator moves across, it's exposing the packages that are underneath that particular package or sub package within the browser. So I went to technology, it highlighted technology. In technology, I can go to this next package. You can see the browser auto magically moves to that particular package and then it exposes the sub package underneath that, which happens to be an example. And then it exposed the next level underneath it, which happens to be a diagram. So I can use the left or right to move to up or down the breadcrumbs in here, and then get to other places that I want to go uh, within a particular area of my browser, my project or projects, and so on. As we continue to move right across the navigator, you'll see this show favorites icon. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And I have five favorites that are in here. I can manage favorites. Here's the five that are here. I can remove them. I can add more, etc. So if we can very quickly get to favorites, and I'm just going to pick one here, you can see as soon as I selected it, it went to the browser. You look up here in breadcrumbs, the navigator, there's the package, and I'm able to move to particular models that are exposed within this package and so on, right? So very powerful to add favorites. All you're doing is you're picking a particular package that you want to add to favorites during your navigation, your discussion, your presentation, whatever you're working on. You just right click on it and you'll see as soon as you do that, the pop up menu goes to add as favorites. And then for current user, we'll talk about this again later. I'm the only user, so because I'm in my local, so these are all going to be for me. But when you get to Collaborate, Sparks Cloud, Web EA, where you're working with multiple team members, maybe even it's a local SQL server. You may have multiple users that are setting their own favorites, tailoring and personalizing their model experiences. To the right of uh, Find Favorites is Find Package. This is the most used feature of the Navigator for myself. Again, when you get into very large projects, that have dozens, if not more, packages in them, finding a package, package can be time consuming. So let's say I'm looking for packages that deal with relationships, right? So it quickly found in the SQL database uh, all the packages of, with that search term. I can go to the parent name, uh, the subject of which relationship was being covered. Um, you can see when I select it and hit Alt G, or I can right click on it and find in browser. It takes me right to it. As soon as I hit it, you see the breadcrumbs lit up and I can navigate left and right, down 
as much as that I want, right? So if I hit down on this, I get to a diagram that's underneath that particular package. There are no more packages underneath to drill down into. It sees that the next item or element is a diagram, all right? So I very quickly get to things using the find feature. Extremely powerful, great to have up within the navigator bar within your workspace at all times. The next item is the display start page. Start page is where you start when you load and don't bring up any diagrams. Sometimes you might not load this or have it load at default, or you might have inadvertently closed it. You know, where the start page go and how do I get to it? Well, there's two ways. The old way is hitting this down care right here, show start page, brings it up. The other way, if you've got navigator on, simply select this, brings up the start page, puts focus on it. Very nice feature within the navigator to uh, bring up. Sometimes you don't want to start page up during a presentation and you might close it. And then you want to very quickly get to it for further navigation, opening other projects, other project management. It's right there for you. All right, the next item is the uh, menu icon. So if I select this, you can see I have find package, which is right there find contents. You can very quickly get to some other features, which I'll cover in later sessions. Portals is the one that I mostly uh, want to get to. Now, portals is anchored over on the right side. So if I mouse over it, comes up, gives you workspaces, which we'll cover in another video, and lets you get to other tools and features of Sparks very quickly. So, and you can on, on portals, you can lock it open if you want. You can auto hide. You can keep it locked out. Now I want to auto hide. There we go. So when I mouse over, it's right there and I can get to other areas of Sparks and things that we'll talk about again later as we go on. So very powerful. It's always right there for you. So Navigator Bar allows you to move across large projects very quickly find subject and intelligence if you're working solo with yourself on your local or you're working across a large team on a SQL server in the cloud, etc. Navigation bar is very valuable. To recap, we talked about the navigator bar. We talked about the power of finding your models, your packages, your intelligence, your data in real time. This helps you move across very large projects and small projects. I hope that this video helped you. Please leave comments below, good or bad. I need the feedback to get what you want to get out of Sparks Enterprise Architect. Like and subscribe so you, and hit the notification bell so that you're notified for future videos. Thanks very much and I'll talk to you all later.